Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stefan vs. Gabby, Eric's Joy, and Holly's Discovery The spoilers for Tuesday, July 9, 2024, of Days of Our Lives are here. Dan Fuerigal's E.J. DeMera, played by Ashley Puzimus, is expected to confess to Holly Jonas. When Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, finds out that he is the father of Jude Brady, Oliver McClarty, he will be overjoyed. Coming up on Broad Clinic Furthermore, Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish, requests replies from Gabby Hernandez DiMera, Sherry Jimenez. Read on to find out what will happen in the upcoming Peacock soap opera episode. Joy for Eric Brady DOL spoilers for Tuesday, July 9th uncover that Eric and Nicole Walker DiMera, Ariane Zucker, will keep talking at the air terminal. Just in time to meet Eric at the boarding gate, Nicole arrived at the airport. Eric was made aware by Nicole that Jude was her son. Be that as it may, Eric will likely be confounded. As Gabby referenced at the public interview, Nicole and EJ had a great deal of DNA tests done. Trending Weekly DOL spoilers, Grave Discovery, Jack and Chad Reel, and Julian Duggs love the discovery of Holly Jonas at the Demera Chateau, EJ feels totally caught unaware. Naturally, Nicole is correct. She would never have been subjected to such suffering had EJ truly loved her. EJ is a Demera, and they rarely accept responsibility for their actions or mistakes. EJ is going to relentlessly pursue Gabby after the dust has settled. Getting back to EJ's current situation, he confesses to Holly. So, Nicole left without her other child, but she left with the baby? Did Nicole not even notify Holly of their move by text or by knocking on her door? It's possible that all of this took place during school hours, and when Holly returns home, EJ is having a meltdown. The demand of Stefan DiMera according to the Days of Our Lives spoilers for Tuesday, July 9th, Stefan will ask Gabby for clarification. Gabby now appears to be aware that Stefan is about to explode. However, at the press conference, why exactly did Gabby reveal EJ's identity? Was it truly about making the best choice? Although we will wait to see what happens, I still believe that Gabby already knows about Stefan's affair with Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun. Trending Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, How Sophie is Developing into a New Teen Villain Spoilers for DOL, July 9, 2024 Tuesday fans may also be able to see what Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, is going through right now on Tuesday, July 9. How does Gabby's announcement impact Melinda's immunity, despite the fact that she received it? I could feel that any arrangements EJ made in association with the child could be voided, correct? That might end Melinda's immunity, but she would probably find another way to save her booty. Furthermore, could EJ be contemplating prison time? On Tuesday, July 9, 2024, which storyline is most anticipated by you? Share your considerations in the remark area underneath. To find out what happens next, keep watching the soap on Peacock. Holly impacts EJ, Eric's personal roller coaster, Stefan cautions Gabby. Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers for Tuesday, July 9th reveal that now that Gabby Hernandez de Mera, Sherry Jimenez, has destroyed EJ de Mera's, Dan Fuerigal, world, she will rush to her own defense. Stefan de Mera, Brandon Barish, will continue to push for a clarification since he thought he'd persuaded Gabby to keep quiet about Jude Brady's, Oliver McClarty, genuine paternity. Nonetheless, Gabby will argue that everyone deserved to be aware of EJ's character and will justify his public exposure. All the more critically, Gabby couldn't hold on and do nothing when EJ was raising Eric Brady's, Greg Vaughn, youngster, so she'll feel she did what she needed to do. In spite of the fact that Stefan will comprehend that in some capacity, he'll likewise caution that Gabby has faced a tremendous challenge that will blow up marvelously. Fans of DOL heard EJ say he would take revenge, and you can bet he will keep his word as soon as possible. The consequences of EJ's deception will worsen in the interim. According to Day's spoilers, EJ will update Holly Jonas, Ashley Puzimus, on the paternity cover-up news because she will be confused about what's going on. Holly will undoubtedly explode into rage once EJ admits that he deceived Eric, Nicole DiMera, Ariane Zucker, and everyone else regarding Jude's genuine DNA results. 
Holly opt to go all out against EJ for his cruel secrets because he deservingly deserves more criticism for his actions. On Tuesday's episode of Days, Eric will struggle to comprehend Nicole's revelation while at the airport. Nicole just stopped Eric from boarding the plane and said that Jude is his son. Now she has to explain how this information came to light and all the chaos at the press conference. According to Day's spoilers, Eric will experience an emotional roller coaster once he realizes that everything Nicole says is accurate. Eric will be excited over his get together with Jude and may permit himself to expect a future with Nicole, particularly since she just unloaded EJ. However, Eric will also be furious over EJ's lies and may enter the Demera mansion following the conclusion of the celebration scenes. EJ ought to prepare for Eric's anger at some point or another, since he totally merits it. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, EJ's life could take a truly sinister turn now that he has lost Nicole and the family they were building together. Stay with us for additional predictions regarding the chaos. The shocking murder twist in Days of Our Lives just revealed a new. Sammy? Editors independently select all featured goods and services. Be that as it may, Soaps.com might get a commission on orders put through its retail connects, and the retailer might get specific auditable information for the end goal of bookkeeping. Days of our lives occasionally zigzags when we think it's about to zag, as when it revealed that Lee's murder was committed by Connie, of all people. It's been ages since his killing and pretty much all we've realized about it is that Gabby didn't make it happen, in spite of her jail spell. Yet, in the in the middle between, it just so happens, Connie moved into Lee's previous loft, is by all accounts daydreaming and snuggling dependent upon him, and completely faults Gabby and Melinda for his passing, regardless of being the one that dove a blade into his back. To put it another way, Connie is bat, bleep, insane. Hallucination Lee also explained to Connie that he never called her back after their first date. When Julie Dove was recently interviewed by Soaps.com, she talked about how she went from being a huge Days of Our Lives fan to being Sale Might Busybody Connie. Connie has appeared a few more times since those initial beginnings to try to woo Lee and blame Melinda for his death. However, given that, as we hypothesized last week, Connie was the one who actually killed him, we suppose that was all just smoke and mirrors. So it just so happens that Connie significantly surprisingly muddled. Since her first appearance involved throwing a drink in Chad's cheating face, years ago, that shouldn't come as much of a surprise. After that, she showed up as a Sloan client who was a little too sympathetic to the psychotic brother of her attorney. Then, she showed up as a Lee fan who was obsessed with true crime and was way too excited about the idea that he had tried to kill someone. To put it another way, we really ought to have anticipated this. Dove talked as of late with Soap Hub about this most recent win to her personality and who she drew motivation from. Naturally, Annie Wilkes, Kathy Bates' obsessive and perilous fan in Misery by Stephen King, is her first comparison. Dove went back to watch the movie again and became inspired as soon as she saw that Connie was becoming more violent. Annie Wilkes is a particularly fascinating, layered character, bird notes, and I think Connie has many layers. However, she also anchored Connie in a Salem-like character, albeit one that may not have been anticipated. The actress explains, I also took inspiration from Alison Sweeney's portrayal of Sammy Brady in that she knows what she wants. She believes that her desires are completely legitimate. Sammy always has a plan and will do whatever it takes to achieve her goals. That may appear to be too extreme, but Sammy was also extreme. She has drugged and raped Austin, kidnapped a few babies, castrated her rapist, shot a few people, and, you get the idea. Even though some of her more violent actions were justifiable, let's face it, not all of them were. Dove is correct that Sammy would do anything to get what she wants in the end. So, yes, we could see Connie continuing Sammy's story. However, we can't overlook the way that she's somewhat more lopsided. Presently, Connie appears to be resolved to making everybody answerable for Lee's passing compensation, however that does exclude her, obviously. To put it another way, Dove tells Soap Hub that there's more to come. More inquiries and more responses.